Good afternoon. Hello, everyone who are present here and who are online as well. Uh, I'm here to present the customer success story, a case study, which I'm very proud of. And it's like, you know, the reason for the proud is that replacing Salesforce with Udo is one of the great case study of success that we had here. And today, I would like to cover that in detail. And just housekeeping things before getting into the detail of it. Uh, just if you have any questions, anyone who is listening online, if you guys have any questions, scan this QR code, ask the questions, and we'll try to answer that at the end of the session. Yeah. So the thing is that, like, you know, that Bay Alarm started using Udo around four years back or three and a half years back. And they have seen, like, you know, 36% increase in terms of the ROI through using Udo. And that's what we try to cover today here. A little bit about BrainWire. So BrainWire is a digital transformation agency focused on digital transformation, product engineering, digital services across the North America, which is US and Canada, Middle East and Dubai, Qatar, Kuwait, Saudi. In Europe, we are in UK, uh, Singapore, and India. Overall, 1,800 customers are the most satisfied customers from the reviews and rating point of view. So we are very proud of that. So more than 200 customers has given reviews, rating, feedback about us on Clutch. And we got a Udo Customer Satisfaction Award as well in Middle East. So we are proud of that as well. A uh, little bit of our Udo practice. So 350 professionals or brainers work for Udo. 180 are certified. Uh, 250 plus ERP projects that we have implemented. Uh, 80 plus all third party different integration we have done. Either data coming from third party system within the Udo or going out from the Udo to the third party system. Uh, myself, I'm the CEO and founder of the company, uh, 20 years in the IT industry, uh, 12, 13 years associated with the ERP business and Udo. Uh, this is my third venture, sold a couple of my companies in the past. Uh, this venture is around uh, nine years old. A uh, little bit about the customer like BLRM Medical, uh, rated to be one of the top or among the best company in terms of medical alert and first responding system. Uh, top notch in terms of medical alert, which gives you uh, independence and peace of mind for the customers to stay alone when they are elderly people. Uh, GPS-based tracking system, so they have a wearable device where you have a button which you can put on your chest, you can put on your belt, you have a wearable device like watch, they're selling that. So they do a subscription-based selling, so it's a consumer product, B2C, plus there is a subscription model which is ongoing payments and all. Uh, the median of business for them is like e-commerce which is online, uh, through telephone, which is the IP telephony system and IVS system that people are booking the orders or confirming the orders. Plus, there is a mobile app through which they can do the up upgrade and downgrade of subscription. And the kind of services they provide is mainly the SOS service, which is emergency response. Along with that, like, you know, giving the connectivity between the family offices or family members within the company, uh, within the consumers as well. Uh, the topic that I'm trying to cover today is like, you know, functional and technical challenges that they were facing before. The key features that we try to provide and solution that we implemented and how the result has been so far after the journey. So this is my favorite part that they were using Salesforce for decent amount of time, very complex, decent amount of uh, customization spending that they were spending on that and the large amount of license costs as well. Uh, financial force they were using from accounting point of view. Uh, there was absence of hybrid mobile app, so they wanted a mobile app for the consumers to communicate with each other. Uh, subscription was a challenge that there a commerce which was running on Magento, Adobe Commerce. Salesforce was running the backend operations, so like you know, the first payment comes through the commerce B2C and then the payment comes through the subscription through the Salesforce and it was not able to communicate. Your credit card get expired. Typically, you need to upgrade your credit card details. You want to call them and upgrade. You want to have a system to update online. There was no system like that available. And that was one of the challenge. And the subscription was a big issue that was going through. Uh, visibility was not there. That customer support team or the customer sales team has to log into three different screens or four different systems to find out the data about the customer before even they answer to the customer. So these were all the challenges that they were facing. And like, you know, BrainWire started consulting with them and we suggested Udo as a way to go for it. And three, three and a half years back, they took a decision to move to the Udo and we migrated from uh, Salesforce into Udo 13. 
uh, how like you know that what was the key challenge that we were trying to solve it's like you know one of the key challenge that we wanted to solve was like you know the salesperson should have a visibility from a customer 360 degree point of view lifetime value of the customer customer challenges what type of upgrade that i can cross sell and upsell to the customer while they are on the call or while they are calling for certain discussions or points or things like that uh, they wanted to like you know make sure that automatically customer able to update the credit card details payment details subscription details rather than like you know when the credit card get failed you not have a visibility on that they wanted consolidated report so that you know that like you know that what are the like you know the subscription that you started from the commerce how much went through to the next level how much did not went through and then they wanted a centralized system where all the data comes in the one system rather than you have a salesforce financial force adobe commerce and then you have a wordpress website and then you have a couple of other system uh, strong case was also about integration that they wanted to integrate with their uh, taxation system they wanted to integrate with their third 3pl logistic platform they wanted to integrate with their telephony system right because a lot of customers are calling and they wanted to make sure that those things get integrated so this is where like you know the udu flexibility udu third party easy integration uh, open api open architecture open nature help customer like you know to solve the problem which salesforce was not able to solve or there was a struggle going on with the salesforce while we doing that implementation so yes like you know with udu implementation we make sure that the you know subscription came into a single screen so you can look at it like you know what are the subscription when was the start date when it ended which are active which are not active if you want to modify few things if you want to update everything came at a single platform single view very strong in terms of accounting dashboard so now they can know the lifetime value of the customer how many customers are repeating how many customers are not continuing the subscription what are the challenges what are ups and downs they look at the reconciliation part of it from the bank point of view delivery part from the delivery point of view and then ultimately comes everything in a dashboard view so this is where like you know that rather logging previously going into financial force sales force and into a magento backend to actually find out their exact numbers and going through all the excel sheet this is something we try to replace that excel sheet with this system and the udu able to provide them the complete set form in a integrated centralized system also they able to measure the kpis from their sales team point of view right that when the customer is calling them are they able to do cross sell and upsell like you know how quickly they able to respond to the customer queries how many time customers are calling things like that so we able to give that type of uh, kpis and reports and dashboards based on the data that what will be the per subscription revenue that you are getting how are their sales team able to do cross sell and upsell customer support team able to do the cross sell and upsell of your services because that's the main service that they do it out typically you buy a subscription because generally when you buy a subscription with a medical alert system it always happens that way that whenever the emergency comes that is where like you know it's unfortunate but that is where generally you do upselling and then you do a higher subscription that okay i've used this service it really helped me let me buy in like you know three more services what they have so like you know giving the customer that option giving the sales team that option and giving the customer support team those options available is something which was crucial and with udu centralized system we able to provide that easily now the key features that we implemented like you know the 360 degree customer view which was very important from a sales point of view actually the sales team and customer support team was logging into three different systems spending at least 10 minutes before they answer the question so here we able to reduce that to at least 2 minutes an idea to go forward is that with a mobile app and with a self service app we want to make sure that the calls are reduced 70% of the calls get reduced and it should be self service but now we able to do that because their platforms runs on udu their commerce runs on udu and the mobile app is something that we can build on top of that from a consumer facing point of view which is on hybrid maybe in react native integrating with this platform and people can do upgrade downgrade credit card update changing of the credit card things like that like you know easy questions things things like that uh flexible bundle options so before that there were like you know different system they were using so because of that you were not able to bundle so if you buy a watch along with that the belt comes and then if you buy a one year subscription you get something extra so there is lot of attach and detach which happens and you wanted a system to be flexible because sometimes the customer will buy attach and detach online from the commerce sometime they will go back and they will buy it from the back end system like you know when they are calling to the customer support team or from the mobile app so that's where because of the udu commerce and udu everything integrated 
we able to provide easy options from a flexibility point of view in terms of bundling the product and selling that. Also, like you know, the IVR system is able to integrate so that self IVR is something that we are working towards it. Like you know, as Fabian was mentioning today in the morning, that like you know, the AI chat GPT model and things like that. So we actually looking at how we can integrate that here as well. Actually, like you know, where the subscription questions IVR can be automated as much as possible. And this is possible because of the platform, which is single platform with Udo, everything integrated rather than using two, three system. And then, of course, like, you know, that entire accounting, financial report, business closing, and all the closing of the month and things like that become very easy once you have a data in a single system. Earlier, it used to be that, okay, you take the data from the Magento or WooCommerce backend, you take the data from the financial force, you take the data from the Udo, and then you consolidate everything in an Excel sheet. Now, everything can be done from the accounting reporting. And today, what they were showing on the keynote from the accounting features point of view, I think if those reconciliation features comes in Udo 17 and with a single click, uh, customers like Bailaram will be benefited a lot and the entire that accounting and account management can be much smoother out from that point of view. Uh, <clears throat> very strong in terms of the e-commerce, like you know that Udo commerce has improved drastically and that was one of the reasons that we able to challenge Adobe commerce and we said that instead of Magento, Let's use Udo Commerce and it will give you flexibility of bundling the product, coupling the product, decoupling the product, subscription, all of those things we can do it easily. So that was something that we able to do it out very easily with a uh, Udo Commerce system. <coughs> I mean, accounting dashboard, we try to hide as much as data, I mean, just to make sure not to give the actual data. But yes, I mean, very strong in terms of the entire dashboard report. So the modules that we are implemented for BLRM is sales, purchase, inventory, CRM, discuss, uh, time, like, you know, that uh, learning management, LMS platform, document management system to sign the subscription contract and document online, accounting platform, uh, commerce, which is Udo Commerce, and completely replaced uh, Salesforce, like, you know, two and a half, three years ago, and uh, financial force, like, you know, two years ago, once that accounting year closed. So overall, like, you know, notably that there is a decent amount of increase happens in terms of the sales that you're able to see that because customer has a single interface to communicate, your support team where the major sales are happening, you have a single interface to communicate with them and you're able to cross sell, upsell easily, ROI able to increase easily on that, drastically like, you know, able to increase the activities on the internet from the sales point of view, marketing point of view, you're able to see your spend on the internet, marketing, the kind of channel customers are coming and which channels are performing well, which channels are not performing well and we are using Udo marketing module to track all of those data. Very strong in terms of like, you know, increase in terms of the accuracy of the data, which was the important thing that earlier there was a lot of third, three, two, two, three different systems. You are using Excel sheet and then mapping all the data with the human intervention. That's where the accuracy of the data was a challenge. So we able to improve that to a drastic level. Recently, a couple of weeks back, we migrated them to Udo 16 from Udo 13. So now, of course, with Udo 16, better speed, better performance, uh, and the migration went very successful. So we have a Mark, who is the head of technology from uh, BLRM here with us as well. So he's a customer from San Francisco, and the, the live customer who is using it, he's around. So any questions are there, he's happy to answer as well. Uh, customer case studies available on uh, Udo site and on our website on Brainwire, but on our Udo website as well, it is available. So you can check the customer case study on our Udo website. Uh, the entire success journey, uh, what what it take to implement, and as much as data that we able to share it, we have tried to share that. Uh, these are some of our other Udo customers. So we have done close to like 250 plus Udo implementation. Like, you know, some of them are fresh implementation. Some of them are migrations like uh, migrating from Salesforce, uh, Sage, SAP, Oracle into Udo. We have done some uh, third party integrations for all different type of platform. Uh, couple of talks that we are going to do this week here. So where we are covering few of our customers and just to give you, these are some of our customers. So Ajmal Perfume is like, you know, 250 stores point of sale that we implemented within using Odoo within like, you know, three months. And it is between 17 countries with a different uh, uh, language, taxation rules, uh, currencies, plus still having a single loyalty platform and con combining that with that. 
ESA Foundation is something which is uh, like, you know, we are very proud of that they are in like, you know, seven to eight different countries that they are operating on. And it's a non-profit organization, NGO, where we have done a complete implementation of Udu. So they are using Udu project management, uh, time tracking, uh, entire Udu backend accounting platform, uh, things like that. Yeah. So this is like, you know, I think I got a notification that five minutes is left. So we have a booth here, uh, Brainwire, and you guys are happy to come and visit and ask any questions if you want to see the demo of a live system, we are happy to show that some of our implementation. And like, you know, last but not least is something for the questions that if any questions from the online audience or the offline audience, we are happy to answer. Any questions uh, that you had online? So there were two challenges that we faced during the implementation. Uh, first challenge that we faced was like, you know, when we were implementing from Salesforce to this, uh, one is going to be that speed performance. Second is going to be the usability that you want to keep it. Uh, and then you want to also make sure that the huge data, which was there of like last six, seven years to migrate that data. So that was something which was very critical, that usability and the data that you want to have the accuracy of the data and migration of the data. And thankfully, like, you know, when we migrated to Udo 16, I think the data migration went really well. I think we not had a major hiccups and Mark can vouch on that as well, but no major hiccups in terms of the data that we able to do that. Uh, speed performance that, of course, we had some challenges because we implemented Discuss module and it was a good challenge that they liked that module so much. So entire company started using Discuss module within them themselves to communicate with each other mm -hmm. and which made performance of Voodoo to go down because we never thought that it's going to be so much widely used. So there was a little bit of challenge in terms of Discuss module that we had to switch it off for a couple of days just to make sure that <laughs> we able to survive that load. But then we made a separate server and separate arrangement for that. But yes, so Discuss module was something that unexpected challenge which came, but we able to solve that, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And one last question was, what would you recommend to a company that is also working in the healthcare sector? What would you recommend to them to make sure the implementation goes smoothly for them? So I think, like, you know, a few things that you have to take care in mind, like, you know, that uh, one, like, you know, that uh, you want to make sure that your requirements are clear, that what you want to implement, right? Second thing is that Udo gives you flexibility in terms of the open source architecture and open APIs and all. But at the same time, you want to use out-of-the-box features as much as possible, rather than customizing too much, if it is possible to use within that. Uh, if you have to modify certain of your own company's processes, I will highly recommend you should do that, uh, rather than modifying the ERP to the great level. So use the Udo standard features as much as possible and do the customization at a minimal level which is required, and make sure that your requirements are clear and spend enough time on blueprinting sign-off I think Mark did that amazing job with our team to make sure that every screen has been signed off by the uh, customers before we start implementing so that you exactly know what you're expecting in the sales screen, purchase screen, CRM screen, transaction screen, and make sure that the implementation goes as smooth as possible. All right, so uh, another question came out also, a few. Uh, what did you use for business intelligence? So there are two things that we develop a lot of uh, APIs and a uh, lot of uh, reports on top of Udo. So standard Udo, where we have used the Udo reporting capability and build on top of that. And apart from that, there were certain niche requirement was there. So we are looking at whether to use a Power BI or build a custom reports on that. So that's a discussion that is going on. So right now we have done use the Udo reporting, but chances are that based on what they need, Either it can be that we'll build a Udo custom module or app on top of Udo for all those detailed reporting, and uh, or else it can be a Power BI. All right. Yeah, which can be integrated. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have three more uh, questions. If we can ask to all of them, it would be great. So is Udo good for a small level health sector? I mean, we have customers which are like, you know, a mid-sized customers like BL Aram, like, you know, we have, I mean, which are 100 users. We have customers which are like five users customers, and we have customers which are like two users customer from healthcare industry as well. So yes, Udo is a very decent in terms of uh, small to large to mid, 
and that is what the Udu is meant to be. So that whether you are small company, individual, small business, whether you are a large corporate, Udu is the way to go. So I will highly recommend Udu for them. Yeah. Thank you. And um, how did you handle the training of the employees during the, the during the migration? Yeah. So that's where, like you know, so that is one of the challenge that I should I should should have said that that we want to make sure that the train the trainer model is something that we have done it out. So we champion like you know. Uh, three or four people from customers team from Bailaram who were like you know getting trained on the platform. So one from the customer support team, one from the CRM team, one from the accounting team, one from the sales team, and we make sure that we train them. And then they were the one who were training their 15, 20, or 30 internal staff members that they were training them out. Yeah. Okay, very good to know. Yeah. And last but not least, how can I start using Odoo 17? <laughs> Yes, I mean, I think everyone should start using Udo 17. I mean, what we have seen today, definitely it has a lot of uh, potential, especially in terms of Udo accounting, especially when you look at uh, uh, some of the features and functionality in the GUI changes that they have done. It's some amazing job which is there. So definitely we should do that. But before even do that, I mean, I just want to give you one more background of that. So uh, BLRAM is like, you know, 150 or 180,000 active customers they are using. Uh, 4,000 subscription a day that we are transacting the invoicing point of view, processing the invoicing on a daily basis. So we are using AWS. So we migrated on AWS. We are using Redish from a caching point of view. We are using load balancer and multi-server architecture. So as uh, I think uh, Anthony and Fabian was mentioning today about the scalability. Uh, so on the SH that how you can have a read and write on a separate database server. Definitely that is something that we have implemented here and we are very proud of that, that we have done it. I think right now number is that 3,500 to 4,000 subscription that we are able to run on a daily basis from an invoicing point of view and billing point of view. And the tweaks that we are doing right now, we are expecting that it should be around 8,000 to 9,000. So maybe like, you know, at least the triple the growth that what BLRM has right now, we should be able to handle that with the Udo platform. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much, okay. Anton. Thank you guys, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and thank you all online. Thank you guys. Thank you, Udo.